Alright guys, uh, this is going to be a video of the arms, um, Model 71 um, rear and front flip up sights. Um, this one, as you can see, I, I've changed it around a little bit for my preference. Um, I put down the peep sight so I can get a bigger target acquisition using this sight. Um, this is the rear one, obviously. And this is the front one. Um, I picked these up at my local uh, gun store um, for I think eighty dollars. Pretty good deal, I, I think. Uh, they're comparable to the um, Magpul flip ups. However, uh, they didn't have any Magpuls in um, black, which I really wanted. Um, something that I like about th these flip up sights. Well, preferably with the rear. Uh, you come over here to the actual gun. Um, it fits in perfectly right over the charging handle. So the way the, the screw is, is, is lined up, I can put it on the T, T1. When I f flip it up, it doesn't, um, you know, get in the way of the charging handle, which I still have yet to receive, unfortunately. Um, and I still am waiting on my uh, free float forehand. Um, but yeah, I like that it, it, it can go right over the top without um, getting in the way. I also like the way too that um, these flip up. They look real nice. Um, one thing I have noticed, I don't know if I'll pick it up, but um, there is a, a small forward cant to the sights. Um, I don't know if that's just because I need to break the spring in a little bit or what, but uh, I'd prefer it to be to be flush 90 degrees. Um, that's probably the one um, drawback I have with uh, these sights. I mean, overall, very, very good quality. They are made of durable, um, durable plastic. Um, also, this thing right here, I was, this little pin, like a roll pin, um, this little release latch, I was, I was a little nervous about when I first uh, opened this and unboxed it. But then I realized um, it's not just being supported by that roll pin. There's a little ball bearing in there, and there's a spring down in here. Um, so it is it is under constant tension. Um, I guess time will tell. I don't I don't really know if these are prone to breaking in here. Um, like I said, I picked this up because they were out of the Magpul ones, and they were also the, probably the cheapest ones they had um, at their store. Here's the front one. I like the way it looks. I see a lot of guys actually running these um, in both both configurations. So the way that I've been told to run them is like this um, on your gun. So the rear sight, the little release latch is closest to you. I have seen a lot of guys run them like this. So that way the, the release latch is in front. Um, I guess I don't really know the, the proper way to run them. Um, I'm assuming it's this way. And uh, for er an ergonomic um, standpoint, it's it's more convenient to run them this way. So that's how I'm gonna run mine. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up, but there still is a forward cant to both of these. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll go away with time. But yeah, um, this is the ARMS 71 um, rear and front sight, the R and the F. Uh, so those stand for rear and front. Got them for about 80 or 90 bucks. If you can pick them up on Amazon for cheaper, that's probably the best way to go, but I definitely recommend these. Um, pretty good alternative to the Magpuls, so check them out.